fun reading baby. Today we will be reading Queen Victoria's Knickers. My friend Sam's uncle used his secret weapon to fight against Napoleon. My friend William's grandpa helped Captain Cook find Australia. My friend Bridget, Bridget's father drove the first steam train in England. But my mum made Queen Victoria's knickers. Queen Victoria was impressed of half the world. She, she owned the places and huge armies, mighty sultans and her precious jewel, jewels. But she didn't have any knickers. Most people those days didn't wear any knickers at all. The queen wants my knickers, shrieked mum. When a footman from the palace brought the me brought the message. Oh my goodness, cried Ga Gran. Not mum's knickers, Gran said. The one she makes, mum said, mum made the best knickers in the world. Gran sniffed. I don't approve of knickers. If a girl wears proper, wears proper petticoats and and it takes ladylike steps, she doesn't need any knickers. But what if the if the wind blows the queen's skirt up, demanded demanded um, my brother Bertie. But what if the queen goes roller skating, I asked. Gran glared at me. Her Majesty never goes roller skating, she said. Maybe that's because she didn't have any knickers, I pointed out. Mum looked worried. What kind of knickers would the Queen like? Tartan, cried Bertie. The Queen loves tartan and bagpipes. They could be they could be bagpipe knickers. So they play music when she sits down. They should be a balloon knickers, declared I declared so she can fly across the empire. Well, they should certainly be well padded and comfortable, stated, stated Gran, who was starting to become interested. It's so difficult, cried Mum. Silk or linen, lace or frills, short or knee length, what colour? Who knows what Her Majesty would like? Don't worry, Mum. I said we'll all help. Dad and Bertie found the finest linen which came from Ireland. Linen is tough but it is soft too. Dad told us we can give the queen knickers that could split or make her itch. Gran and I this 
did, the lace visited the lace makers. I need the best lace in England, Auden Grad, as the lace makers twirled their bobbin. It's for her majesty. It's it's for her majesty. Ruchi and I had our own ideas. I think the Queen's knickers should have a secret pocket, said Bertie, to hold cake when she gets hungry or to keep bones in for her dogs. Mum looked doubtful. I hate, I'd hate her majesty to get ants in her pants, she said. Well, I think she needs a built-in warming pan, interrupted Gran. That, that place looks cold and dirty to, to me. I think her knickers, knicker pocket should have bows and arrows. I said, so she can shoot anyone who tries to assassinate her. Dad smiled. They'd be awfully prickly when she sat down. But Mum had already begun to cut out the knickers. She cut one part, then another, and another, and another, until we had 52 pair of knickers. We all helped Mum to suit. Then Graham embroidered em them with numbers so that the Queen wouldn't forget them to get them mixed up. I embroidered a crown. And the queen insults insult on every pair so that no one would ever wear Her Majesty's knickers by mistake. When Queen Victoria was due to open her open parliament that year, we all had new underwear too. Even Gran wore knickers for the occasion. But we wouldn't have the feeling that it was a shame no one would see any knickers. Maybe if a tiger will escape from the zoo and tear off the screen shirt, I cried. Maybe she'll fall over, suggested Bertie. Hopefully, so everyone will see her new knickers. But then the queen appeared at the front of, of a long procession. She was satin and diamonds and rubies and lace. She also wore my mum's knickers and a secret smile. It, it was the smile of a woman who no, knows that no matter what, no one will ever see. Anything. They shouldn't. <laughs> That's the end of the story. 
So I hope you guys love this video. If you did, smash that like button, hit the bell notification, subscribe so you can see the rest of my videos. Bye!